Hey, welcome back or welcome. I'm Brittany and this is the Brittany Inc. channel. Welcome to Vlogmas day two. Today we are doing some makeup. We're doing my makeup y'all. And this is the finished look. I recorded an intro just in my mirror, which I, I did not like it. I didn't, I wasn't presenting as I prefer to present to y'all. So without any further rambling, let's get into what I do to come out looking like this. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas day two. And I'm getting my face together to create some content. So I figured I would take you guys along on the journey through a little bit of skincare and my makeup routine for when I'm creating certain types of content. And I'll get into that when I get to the makeup. I just washed my face and I am using the Dr. Jart Derma Clear Trans Foam Clay. I will link everything that I'm using down below. But I'm just putting this clay mask in my, my hot spots or my oilier areas. And this definitely isn't something that I do like as preparation for filming like often, but I do do this as a part of my skincare routine. And I typically work with whatever mud mask is within reach. And this one just so happened to be within reach. I really like it. I don't like the mud masks that really like dry and tighten and pull at your skin. This one is nice. It stays kind of soft and it's easy to towel away. I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to follow it with another mask, which I will explain when I apply it. Right now I'm about to go shoot a little photo content in an effort to really utilize my time because y'all I fear vlogmas may eat me up I'm gonna I'm try my best I'm gonna try my very best to make it through and I'm trying not to psych myself out but I'm anxious about it mm -hmm. I apply my masks using this this foundation brush from Smashbox that I've literally had since like 2009 when I worked for Ulta. What a time. Okay, we're back. I removed the clay mask. I cleaned my brush and we're going to apply the Apon B Banana Hydrating Mask or Banana Oat Hydrating Mask. I like to follow masks that are potentially dehydrating or drying like muds and clays with a nice hydrating treatment because the skin loves hydration and the limit truly does not exist. I like to let this one sit just until it dries down and it'll start like to peel off. So about 15, 20 minutes and then I'm going to come back and we're going to go in with a little makeup, a little color. Okay, let's begin. We're going to start off with my Essence Toner. Babe, I'm not trying to pronounce this name. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this name. I will link it below. It's beautiful, extremely hydrating. It's a Korean product. And we know I love that because those girls really care about hydrating the skin effect. So I like to pat that in and I can stop there, but we're gonna continue with the hydration using my Cosrx Snail Mucin. I have mentioned this before on the channel. It is, ooh, you saw, you saw the, you saw the slime babes. It is one of my favorite super hydrating, non-offensive. I would go as far as to say anyone can use it. Works in conjunction with many products, Korean, American, wherever you get your skincare products from. 
is fantastic. 11 out of 10 recommend. And then I'm going to follow that with more hydration, but with my moisturizer for the day. And it is the Dr. Gross Hyaluronic Marine. This is an oil-free like cream gel moisturizer, which I usually exclusively use in the summer. But today, because I am going to be applying makeup and I'm going to have it on for a while and I'm going to be recording throughout the day because I, I got a lot of like reels and like TikToks type stuff to shoot. I need my makeup to last and any type of fatty emollients, oils, things of that nature and like a regular cream cream. I fear would threaten the longevity of my makeup. We're adequately hydrated and we're going to follow that with the Dr. Barbara Sturm anti-aging primer. This primer is Noise. It is the only primer that I have. So I don't have a hero story about it. I don't have amazing things to say because I don't really have much to compare it to to be very honest I do like it and as you can see I'm primarily putting it in the spots where I applied the mud mask and honestly where I applied the mud mask is where I typically apply makeup you're gonna see that I when I do use a little bit of color I don't use a lot <laughs> One of my friends jokes that I wear like two teaspoons of makeup, and it's true. So I, ah. so I did my makeup a little bit once before in a vlog, and I will link that above if you haven't seen it before. And I don't think that I really spoke through it, mainly because I'm not a makeup girl. I'm a skin girl and typically when I am sitting and just talking to y'all on the channel I only wear like lips lashes brows I don't really do face makeup but when I'm recording something like if I have something due for a brand or if I if it's a TikTok and I think it's gonna do really well or real then I will put what I'm about to do now on so I'm going to start with the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the color 390. So I use very, very little. Like that's enough for everything. And that may be too much because I wasn't paying attention, attention. And I go in with my Makeup Forever foundation brush that ain't clean, child. And as you can see, I'm just going where I put that mud mask on. So I do my under eye area. And really that's it. <clears throat> now, I do have a little spiggity spot here. Me and my skin had a bit of a disagreement. I don't know what happened there, but I had a, you know, a little breakout sitch. So... I don't know, I feel like I need a corrector to like properly cover that. So I don't even know why I just did that. I never put makeup on my nose, y'all. I hate it. And maybe that's a little childhood trauma because brief, brief story time. When I was younger, I used to do my nose like this a lot. <laughs> like I would just push it up. So I developed marks, wrinkles essentially from the constant aggravating of the skin and folding of the skin. And I was so embarrassed about it. I had to be maybe 10, 11, 12, no older than 13 though. And maybe between nine and 12. And it bothered me so much. And I remember my mom, we went to my pediatrician and it was for like a regular checkup, a general checkup, but my mom asked about it. And that woman sat there and looked me in my face. And then looked my mom in her face and told her that the lines would be there forever. And that's how I knew. <laughs> that's how I knew that 
people just be saying stuff. I don't want to speak on doctors specifically, even though I have very hot takes, but that's not for here. However, people just be saying stuff because why would that woman crush my little 11 year old heart like that and have my mama thinking that I was going to have these lines forever? I don't think my mom believed that though. Anyway, so I used to go into my auntie's makeup collection. My auntie is now 95. At the time, she was like 70 something. And I would go into her makeup collection and what was old women wearing back in the day? Fashion fair. We are not the same complexion at all. Not even close. And I would pat that red, dark brown, <laughs> foundation on my nose trying to cover those lines so my nose was like three four shades darker than my face and very very red and I really thought I was doing something and I became the laughing stock of my family all because I was humiliated because I had these lines on my nose that I thought would never go away anyway I'm going in with caramel by Fenty and this is what I use to like brighten my under eye, I guess. Not to get rid of the oranginess. I fear that my foundation, this little 390, may be not correct. But I've never put it all over and I've never worn it and looked crazy with it on. So we just gonna go with it until we can't go with it no more. I'm going in with a truffle, and this is probably my favorite thing to do. I like to, I don't know, am I contouring? Is this contouring? I guess it is. But I also use it as my all over eyeshadow. And I like to do this because I have downward turned eyes. And I like the the dynamic or the, the shape that adding some depth here creates. And I also sometimes will come here and just create a shadow there as well. So then I'll blend that in. And y'all, I, you know, this ain't no tutorial cause the doll does not really, you know, always know what she's doing. I just know how not to look stupid. And I think I said that before, like I've never been a makeup girl, despite the fact that when I was at Ulta, I worked for Smashbox. <laughs> but one thing that I used to do is I would, like, people would come in for concealers, like, oh, I got these dark spots and I really need something to cover it. I got these dark circles. And I would sell them a concealer. I knew how to match color. But best believe I would always take them to the back to the skincare. Like, babe, let's get you a little vitamin k based eye cream to fix these dark circles and that's kind of how i got into skincare i would always be back in skincare when i was supposed to be in color and then a few months after that i went to school to get my license for aesthetics i'm going to take a little bit of that caramel and put it here this is a MAC Brow Pencil in Spiked. My brows are microbladed, micro and nanobladed or whatever. So I don't have to do too much, but I do like a little bit more depth in the beginning. Also, they've been microbladed for a year and they're still going strong. Like I don't notice any difference in the fade. And I thought that by now I would have to do a touch up. My girl, top tier okay brows are on then i'll kind of take my brush just across them to soften them up i really am not the biggest fan of like a harsh starting brow on me and then i have this powder this long comb translucent powder i don't even know i think one of my friends gave it to me a friend who used to work in beauty she gave it to me so I'm gonna take a little powder and I'm not a powder girl I hate powder but again because I'm about to be in front of the bright lights I just want to mattify the areas that I know are going to get oiliest first 
I don't bake or anything like that. And I like to plumb down my nose and then here where I put the matchstick and then sometimes I'll come up on my forehead because that's a hot spot as well. And I don't know, sometimes the translucent powder it gives like a little mild highlighting effect. So the areas that one would normally like highlight with concealer, I'll just come in with a little bit of powder. So that's my base. I don't really touch the perimeter of my face. I typically don't care if there's any spots. I'm really keen on my skin looking like skin. And y'all, I have never, ever, ever had my makeup done and liked it. I have never, like even doing it myself, whenever I apply foundation all over, I feel like I look like Holiday Heart. And it's not like, oh, you just don't know what you're doing. I just, I don't like the look for me. For someone who doesn't love makeup, I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes. Well, not quite a few, I'm exaggerating, but I have a good amount, Beauty Bakery. Oh my God, don't look at my nail chart, please. This is a sister who let me act like it. I'm starting with this Beauty Bakery. Do it for the grand palette, y'all. I don't even know when I got this, where I got it. I, and I'm going in with like a reddish brown and I'm just powdering that same area that I did with the Fenty stick and truffle. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do brown shimmer today. I'm not showing y'all what palette I'm using because I cannot tell y'all how old this palette is and how expired it is. And y'all ain't about to sit up and judge me. So you can judge me through ignorance, but you're not about to have photographic evidence. I'm so sorry, my sisters, but this is a really pretty like chocolate shimmer. I'll show you the color. I'm not giving you the finger. And I, I, you know, usually I have the long nail, so I'm never able to do this. So I do quite enjoy taking advantage when I can. So this is a black MAC liner. And I line all the way across the top. And I go in on the inner corners again because my eyes are downward turned and I really want to create a more almondy, so almondy, more almondy effect. Inner corner highlight is essential, so I went in with a little bit of Mary Luminizer, and I'm gonna follow that with an even more sparkly one from this Dose of Color Desi Katie palette. Mm. You got in my eye a little bit. Why would you do that? Don't tear up, BB. So while my glue for my lashes is getting tacky, I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. Lately, I've been in a bit, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I just put a highlighter all over my cheek, babe. She doesn't know what she's doing, Yana. Lately, I've been in an orange mood, really needing some warmth because this weather is pissing me off. This is Chili Mango by Fenty. I typically go in with rum, which I just applied on this cheek, like up here, and I just blend it all in. And you know, that's the beauty of not really wearing any base makeup because I just took a little paper towel and wiped that off, babe. I couldn't do that if I had some foundation under it. So I'm forever grateful. Uh, uh, okay, here we have the almost finished look. I'm not going to show y'all the finished look in my vintage mirror because it, it looks dusty. So once I get ready, put a lip on, do something with my hair. Y'all, I hate new braids. Like The only time that I enjoyed new braids is when I did them myself, which is the braids that I just had before these. I'm not a fan. Three out of ten, don't recommend. I need a 10 day breaking in period because new braids for me, I don't like it. So yes, I need to figure out like why, why is this? Why is this doing this to me? I'll come back, I'll show y'all the real deal without the mirror. But that is how I prep for content days. This is what I do 
this is my look. This is also my date night look. This is also I'm going somewhere special with my girlies look. Like this is my makeup routine for the most part. So all products will be linked below and I'll come back with the outro so y'all can see the look look. Okay, girlies, here we have the finished look. I added a lip. This is Mob Wives by Fenty with some cork and chestnut lip liner. I think it's dewy, it's glowy, it's warm. It's my favorite. Again, this is my let me get myself together. I'm going on a date. I'm recording a bunch of stuff. I'm going somewhere fun and fancy with my girlies. Look, this is what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You will find all products linked below, along with color details if you guys are interested in that. I believe later on in Vlogmas, I am going to do a more in-depth skincare video. So thumbs up if I should do that. I know a few of you have been asking for more skincare content. And yeah, like this video if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Follow me on Instagram at Born in Sequence and on TikTok at Brittany Inc. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.